Hey, uh, welcome back to another video. We have yet again another pit bulls. I am so excited. They've been given some sneak peeks on their website, so I am very excited to open this for you. Hey, so this is last month's review. So we have the lipstick if you remember the nice bamboo looking one and I'm just going to try this on and show you what it looks like it's really beautiful subtle pink and I absolutely love it I've been looking for a pink like this for a while and it's so so lovely it's really silky on your lips I don't know if you can really see it if the lighting is quite bad but it's it's just it kind of suits me really well i think i always thought i suited dark lipsticks more than uh, pale ones but i'm glad i found one that actually suits me so i'm actually really happy and it's beautiful it's obviously eco-friendly with the packaging so it's a really good product all in all what we have is the the pressed um what is it what I'm trying to think of the blusher and the highlighter that's what I'm trying to think of which is this and it comes in the three different colors and so you can use them individually or all at once but what I love is it's really beautiful all together on the cheeks just do a little tiny tiny line just on the bone and because it's got the, the brighter colour in. That's where the highlight comes from. Like I said, you don't need much. I've got such a big brush for this. <laughs> but I'm not sure how good it is on the camera. It probably doesn't help with my glasses on. But I don't, really don't think you can see it, but I'm actually really impressed with it because it's it's not fully pigmented like a lot of um, blushes are and it just makes you look red and like obviously a blusher but I'm pretty impressed with this because it does what it says blush and highlight so it makes it more natural and pretty one we have are the beautiful beautiful tweezers Obviously, they're just tweezers, and tweezers do the same thing. But they're really. I can't where's the camera? This side. They are pretty sharp on the end. So you can grab every little hair out your face. Can't see it in my phone whilst doing this. I'm gonna. No, no, I'm gonna check. But yeah, I just. If you are into like the vintage floral designs, then. This is this company is really for you because this stuff is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yes, again, got the brand. Oh, you can't see it on here, but it's the Vintage Cosmetic Company, and that's where the makeup sponge was from last time. One is the the mist, the rose mist B A O product. I put it on this morning and I work in a kitchen so I always get a really greasy face whether I have makeup on or not but I actually feel pretty pretty clean after putting this on I mean I've put makeup on today but it's like the oil hasn't stuck to my face whereas it usually would um, I don't know if that's like what, what it's meant to happen but it's just meant to brighten and plump but I've noticed that it doesn't let the oil set my face, which is really nice. And yeah, I, I didn't feel a lot of pressure throughout the day wearing this. So I, I, I think it actually does what it says on the skin. So again, recommend this product. This is the hair shampoo. I don't actually have it because I've used it already. It's again hard to use like the other one was again my hair is so thick so it's probably such an issue for people like me and yeah it's just I kind of rub it in like this and it it doesn't go far because of my hair 
but it has in fact made my hair feel really smooth afterwards which has been lovely it's just very difficult to use so if you had short or thin hair it'd be absolutely perfect you'd be able to get right into the roots however i can barely get shampoo into mine so just based on that pure fact i don't recommend it for people for with thick hair or long thick hair because it's difficult i usually do shampoo at the top and then the shampoo bar at the bottom just to uh, you know make sure it's fully washed but again yeah first of all again we have all our little tiny leaflets this is the salt parlor that which i saw on the sneak peek so that will be in the box as well um just some little information about some other subscription boxes that they have and yeah another little leaflet for one of the products so this is the one we need at the moment and so this is the summer prep edit which sounds amazing because obviously summer's coming and yeah i'm outside it's quite warm it's a little bit cloudy but not too bad um sorry if it's quite noisy there's a digger over there but <laughs> we'll see how it goes so yeah this is this month's edit number one on the list we have fix and rouge soft focus pore perfect hd and matte veil okay so let's find that one it's a little pink ah there we go it's a lovely pink packet absolutely gorgeous so let's just read the little description fix and rouge matte veil is weightless matte serum designed to help minimize the appearance of pores and create a sheer complexion nice rrp 35 pounds wow that is an expensive product so let's hope it works let's just well it's closed but i like to smell things because a lot of things they smell like food so <laughs> That was really nice actually. It smells like one of the expensive creams you get. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But I'm really looking forward to trying that. We got a, a poor one, I think last month or the month before, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so you just apply it to cleanse the moisturized skin work serum evenly across t-zone area wear under makeup for a perfect canvas alternatively apply over makeup by pressing lightly into the skin okay so it tells you how to use it as like you know with makeup so that's really handy because my other one i didn't know what to do but yeah that looks really good i'm really really looking forward to trying that actually so number two on our list is the La Ritzy Liquid Beaming Copper. So that's the lip gloss right here. I'm guessing it's this one. Copper. Wow, it's literally... Wow. Yeah, okay. That looks lovely. Multi-purpose illuminator. Use this light beam on your lips as an eyeshadow and as a highlighter. Wow, three in one. That sounds really cool. Let's just have a little try. Wow. That is glamorous. Wow. I'd have to uh, have a look and play around with it to see how it actually works with the eyeshadow and highlighter. Because that's kind of interesting. Because it kind of it's wet but dry now. It's not matte. But yeah <laughs> that is that that's quite cool actually i'm quite interested to see how it's gonna work but yeah that is the laritzi thing lip gloss highlighter thing <laughs> number three is our salt parlor rose and shea butter salt scrub 
This rose and shea butter scrub was awarded Editor's Choice in the Beauty Shortlist Award 2018. The salt parlour had blended minerals, rich Dead Sea salt, pink Himalayan salt and rose oil to calm and soothe the skin. Cool. I do like a salt scrub. It's this and you get a tiny little spoon. It's kind of cool. So, yeah. Um, what do you do? And, uh, I guess you just scrub it in and mince it off. Wow. Oh, that smells like Turkish delight. See, this is why I. S no, I just dropped some. Damn it. Anyway, it smells like food. That looks really cool. Oh, it's really soft. Yeah. I guess. Maybe you just rub it into your hands or your face and just quickly rinse it off. And then it gets all the dead skin off, make your skin really nice and soft. Hmm, I'm quite looking forward to that. Yeah, I guess you could use it on your feet as well if you have dry skin on your feet. But, and this is the mini tin it says. So you can probably get a much bigger tin if you like it. The RRP is $8.99 of that. For that rather yeah i'm quite <laughs> i love it when it smells like food number four the next one we have is the beauty nomad aloe sheet mask oh this must be this very soft green packet right here so automatically from the writing you can see it's from korea which is kind of cool i like it when things are from different countries but it says a nourishing sheet mask designed to revitalize and brighten the skin after a day outside in the sunshine. So it's okay, I guess, like a moisturizer, rehydrator for your face. And you put it on for 15 to 20 minutes, and it's literally a sheet. You can see here, it's just like a proper, you just stick it on and peel it back off. And the aloe vera just soaks into your skin. And it really nice but I love this packet actually it's really lovely packaging really makes a difference because if it feels cheap then you're not really gonna want to use it I guess but this is beautiful absolutely love it so yeah that is the aloe moisture essence mask number five so the last one on our list and in our box this month is the Betty Hula Nourishing Antibacterial Hand Cream Champagne and Spice. Cool. So this is this one here. It's a cool packet. I absolutely love that. It's got a little tiki girl on. Everyone loves a little tiki girl. But yeah, it's for sensitive skin. Did I read it out? No. A quick penetrating cream to deeply nourish skin and cuticles. Its natural ingredients include shea butter and coconut oil, help to diminish the appearance of skin aging and blemishes. Cool. I mean, I usually have really bad cuticles, so hopefully that will help and soften them up. Let's give it a little. So this on the back says, our expertly blended ingredients provide soothing comfort for tired, dry and chapped hands. Also perfect for an everyday antibacterial barrier due to our non to our special non-alcohol sanitizer property. So it sounds really nice. It sounds really soothing. Let's have a little... I actually love the smell of this. It's really nice. It's kind of subtle, but... Yeah. It's really nice. It doesn't feel greasy, actually. Hand cream almost always look greasy. But this is really nice. Oh, it's so lovely. Reminds me of the Isle of Wight when I went about when I was six, maybe. That smells so lovely. So yeah, that is the Betty Hula hand cream thing. Yeah. So these are all our products from this month's subscription box. Again, I'm really impressed. I am a little bit skeptical about this because it's gold, and I don't really like gold, but. I guess we can just, you know, have a scene, have a play about and see how it goes. 
I realize my camera has kind of gone really dark. I don't know why, but I hope you can still see me. It's suddenly gone really bright, which is kind of the opposite of what I should do. But hey ho. But yeah, it's really decent products that we have received yet again. And if to go by what we've had before, they're going to work really well. So I am definitely excited to try it. I'm looking forward to this salt scrub because it looks really nice, it smells divine and I can just, I can see it working, you know. And I do love a mask, I've got to love a mask and yeah, pore cream, very poor indeed. Yeah, I'm funny. But yeah, this is the, what is it, May box. So again, it's the summer prep edit, I believe you can buy them still online so yeah this is not paid sponsored or whatever just enjoy it give me something to do but yes that is the box i hope you enjoyed this video if you got last month's box or you got this month's box let me know what you thought of the products mm -hmm. blah 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 and yeah let me know we can chat down below in the comments cool right i'll see you next time bye